Phew. Thought we'd never shake him. Commodore Griffin sure was angry. Maybe next time you don't fool around with a woman from a noble family. It was love. Besides, I had a plan. A plan? Not only did she run away with the key to our treasure, but we've been chased into sea monster infested waters. Relax. Sea monsters be deep sleepers. They won't even know we're here. Relax, he says. You see, a mere sea monster be no match for the infamous Henry Hell. The damage to your ship suggests otherwise. I'll barbecue that sea monster one day. Soon as we get that treasure, I'll build the finest fleet ever to sail these sea. Say something too profound or heavy and she'll sink. Bloody hell. Why didn't you say something sooner? That monster hit the cabins hard. This needs fixing. Fast. Tis but a scratch. I can fix this in my sleep. She is patched up well enough. Now we need to plot our course. The lookout spotted something. Let's take a gander. A lighthouse, no less. Now, a vast scurvy biscuit eaters. Get this ship yonder. Now we're talking. This will allow us to plot our new route. Did you hear that? Sounds like someone's in trouble. That voice sounds familiar and old. Help, help! I, I can't hold on much longer. Well, well. If I ain't a gifted Betty Sharp. Lovely day for a dip, huh? Let me get this straight. You stole my golden compass, only to jump into the sea and go swimming with them. You bastard! You sabotaged the lifeboat! I nearly died out there. He be the one wanting to learn the pirate's ways. I'm just following a noble lady's request to teach by example. Guys, can you flirt later? We got company. Damn it! The old codger griffin just won't give up. Stinks like a stench of rotten fish. Rocky, ready the cannons! <sighs> Our cannons took a hit from that sea monster. We've only a few remaining. I only need one cannon to send my message. Full sail! Don't keep me old rival waiting too long. Henry Hell, any last words? Now's the time. What are y'all waiting for? Get us out of here! I don't want to marry that ugly old governor. Boy, I'm the captain round here. You heard the lady. 
get moving, you lazy beauty rats. And the last words are spoken. By order of the governor of the United Merchants Company, the pirate Henry Hell is to be captured. Alive or, more likely, dead. Commodore Griffin, I should remind you that Miss Sharp is still aboard that ship. The governor personally requested. Don't be so weak, boy. The justice of the UMC cannot be so easily avoided. How and ready! Arrogant fool, Griffin, but you won't be arrogant for long. Guess I've got what it takes to be a pirate captain after all. Oi! Watch where you're putting your hands! Hold still! I'm just taking back what's mine. It be the golden compass of Constantine. The Pirate King, legend says, points towards precious treasures. Constantine. As in 100 years ago, nine pirates came Constantine. Aye, the one and only. Each of those nine kings left behind a treasure with special properties. And this here compass points to nearby buried treasure. Ain't quite figured out how to get it to work in yet. Legend says, it has to recognize you as a pirate first. Go hand it to those old kings. Hundreds of years later, and they still be causing trouble from beyond the grave. Matter. We'll work it out eventually. What's our current situation, Rocky? We took damage from Griffin. Right now, we need a dock for repairs. A bigger crew'd help too. Good point. We'll need more hands. And I know just the place to find some. Shipwreck Cove? I like it. We can repair the hull too. I don't suppose they have soap and hot water there, do they? There's a ship up ahead. The flag looks like one of Mad Dog Morrison's. Are they friendly? They don't look friendly. Friendly or not, when it comes to pirates, it don't take much for cannons to spark. Mad Dog doing all the way out here? The clue's in the name. Mad Dog needs no reasons. Never mind him. 
Let's go find help. Northeast, full sail! Jeez. What a pleasure to see you both. You got some nerve showing your face around here. No good ever comes from this one. Toss him in the harbor and be done with it. Oh, you see, horses. I come bearing gifts. I've got a score for you. Feast your eyes on this. The golden compass. Help me fix the ship and I'll find us so much treasure. Everybody gets paid. Golden compass, eh? Fine. But if you try to pull another fast one, I'll take your family jewels. Count me in two. It's pretty good enough to cover what's already owed. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing. How about a toast to seal the deal? Oi, oi, slow down, sunshine. That's me best grog. Isn't that Mad Dog's fleet? Nerve of that fella. Cutting into your territory. He's been acting up lately, looking for something. He's not looking for you, is he? Nah, I only been back a few days. Not enough time to offend him yet. Ahab can help you with your ship repairs. I'll patrol the coast to make sure Mad Dog doesn't try anything too rash. You ain't getting far in that wreck. Best off upgrading the whole ship. You might not even make it to the bloody shipyard. Wash your mouth out. This ship's a beauty. Just needs a little bit of tenderness. Not bad for an old man. Good to see your craftsmanship be as reliable as ever. Save your flattery until your debts are, um, why, why is the compass glowing? Huh? So it is. Rocky, Betty, get an eye full of this.
look, the compass is starting to flicker. Time to get rich. Follow the direction of the golden compass. And away we go! This place needs business people, and I'm the best in the business. One day you'll realize how important this deal was to you.
There'll be treasure here, all right. I can smell it. Ah, but is it worth paying with your life? Mad dog, all salt. You've prepared quite a welcome party for us. Arr, enough chatter. I've no time for games. Just hand over the golden compass. I'll make your death quick and painless. How does he know about the compass? Questions later. Rocky, send a signal to Ahab and Will. The main course is served. you two get tangled up with this scoundrel? What matters is we're here. Think twice about your next move. Mad Come on, boys. Let's sail on. We'll have our revenge eventually. That guy's almost as creepy as the governor. Don't worry about him. Let's find that treasure and head back to Shipwreck Cove. We got the treasure. Not sure how much coin I've got left after paying off the whaleman now. Twenty copper coins. Enjoy. I heard to be a grand old on Whirlpool Island. Will, be interested? I hear those rumors too. But that's a treacherous place. No one comes back. I'd rather die with treasure than live with only twelve gold coins. I tell you that. So it'll be decided then. One last thing. Be sure to have a good old slurp up before we go. You never know if it might be your last. So many privateers now. The days of peace be coming to an end, mark me. Guard. My only fear is the young'uns can't fight like we could. Father used to tell me a woman's place is at home, not on the sea. I'll prove the sea is not just for men. I left the UMC because of persecution. That's when I joined the Freedom Fleet. Even if we're called rebels by my old shipmates, I'll stand up for what's right. Rocky! Perfect timing. Give her tip all. You know I don't drink, but I'll take an apple juice. Thanks. I am. A special apple juice for our special friend. You're a bastard, Henriel. Here you go. <laughs> That's the spirit. Cheers, Rocky! Arr, that's the third drink down! <laughs> Come on, Captain! Keep up if you dare! Rocky's usually so calm. Who'd have thought he had such a wild side when he drinks? <laughs> We're just getting started. Oi! Fishmonger! <laughs> And the pretty boy think you can drink? I'll put you both under the table. <laughs> Drop purples, spill any more food, and you'll have a fight on your paws. <laughs> Come on, Betty. Follow me. I'll show you how pirates have fun.
often beats a good brawl after drinking. Ah, oh, the pirate's life. Who is next? Come on, you bastards. I'll take you all on. Unreal, you smash me tavern, you pay for me tavern. <laughs>